Hey guys, how's it going? So today I wanted to show you guys my cloth diaper stash and I wanted to share with you my tips and my favorite brands and today it's just going to be all about cloth. I actually got into cloth diapering when Carly was about eight months old. Before then I had no idea that this even existed. Um, I think somebody mentioned it on a mommy group that I'm part of on Facebook. I think that's how I came across it. I can't remember exactly how I came across this, but somehow, some way, I did, and I was like, holy cow, <laughs> this is great. You know, I did my research, I looked into it, and I uh, immediately wanted to buy, you know, a whole stash. I didn't buy a whole stash, but uh, I did buy a few. Most of my diapers are either pockets or all in twos. <laughs> Those are like my two favorites. Probably my favorite diaper that I have out of all of my stash, these are probably my favorite. This is a Nikki's diaper. It's got the elastic right here. It's got good pull. And it's a pocket diaper. It's got the pocket right here. Um, I love these. They are easily adjustable in the front. It's not too confusing. Um, I like the elastic because the uh, elastic is very similar to a disposable. You just, you know, lay it across and it's fine. There's no guessing of how tight is it, how tight isn't it. <laughs> you just, you know, put it on like your regular diaper. Uh, these are probably my favorite. I love this diaper. My second favorite diaper are my Best Bottoms diapers. Uh, just because I think that they fit better. I think they fit really good compared to my Thirsty's diaper. Like, this is my Thirsty, one of my Thirsty's diaper. And I just feel like these are so big. When I first, this is actually the first diaper that I ever bought was this cover right here. And I immediately went to go put it on Carly, even though I didn't even have the inserts yet. I just grabbed a receiving blanket and I folded it and I was like, I wanna try this. So I put it on Carly and holy cow, <laughs> it was big and it looked like she was wearing a pillow. Like, uh, I just feel like these are really big. And it's a size two and it says um, nine to 36 months, 18 to 40 pounds. And she was eight months old. so. It just, it was really big on her. I probably should have put her in a size one, but I was afraid it would be too small and she would quickly grow out of it. And then I would have to buy a whole new stash in size twos. So I just went ahead and bought this. I still like them. Um, when I first got into cloth diapering, I was really weird about touching the soil diaper. I didn't know like how you would go about that and it freaked me out. So I really liked these, you know, the inserts and the diapers are separate and you just, you know, you just take it and you dump it into the washer and you're done. <laughs> I really liked that idea. So I bought a bunch of these. Um, I like them. They're just really big. Like they're really big on Carly uh, at the time. They're not really big on her now because she's much bigger. She's two. But at the time that she swam in these. Again, this is just a cover. Uh, I bought separate inserts. I'll go into my inserts here in a little bit, but this is just the cover. Uh, it's got little drafts on it. Um, I like these covers, I really do. Most of my diapers are pockets or like this. Uh, I just feel like they're easier and they're not as expensive as the other diapers. This is another diaper that I'm not really that crazy about. It's the brand OK, OKD. And the reason I don't really care much for it is because the elastics around the legs are so loose, uh, like really loose. Like, this is a diaper that Carly would leak out of sometimes, and that's really annoying. So, uh, not my favorite brand. <laughs> it is a pocket, though. Uh, so that's a plus. But it leaks, so that's not a plus. <laughs> as far as, like, inserts go, I have about three types of inserts in my whole stash. I have the trifold which is not my favorite. They're just so thin and they don't really hold liquid very well in my opinion. They're just not my favorite. Uh, but I got them because I thought they would be easy for newborn and I rarely use them. So, <laughs> not my favorite insert. Another type of insert that I have is Best Bottom. I love this insert. It actually came with two and they snap together. There's little snaps right here where they snap uh, together. Um, I love this type of insert it's it holds liquid and it's soft and i just feel like it's better than the trifold these types of diapers that i have in my stash don't hardly have any stains um this insert however this is a thirsty's insert that i got from amazon and these get stained and i try my best to 
wash my diapers as best as I can and they're still stained. So I like these. They still hold liquid and they still, um, they're still a good insert to me. They just stain. So not my favorite insert, but I still like it. These are my favorite though. <laughs> I love these inserts. They're soft and they're not very thick, but you can, you know, snap them together. Th these inserts I will probably get more of. This is another type of insert that I was talking about that I love. This is thicker, a little bit thicker. I think this is cotton. It has no tag on it, so I can't tell you what brand it is. I think it's Best Bottom. It has three different places where you can snap it to get a better fit. I love this insert. If my whole stash is clean, I pick up this insert first because it snaps and it's thick and it holds liquid and it doesn't stain like this diaper uh, insert is not stained. I just, I love this insert. I wish I knew what brand this was. If you know what brand this is, it's got three little, uh, three little places here where you can, oh, I'm sorry. No, it doesn't. It has two. It has two little places where you can snap it. If you know what kind of insert this is, please tell me in the comments below because I love this insert and I would really like to buy more of them. I just, this has no tag. <laughs> as far as cloth diaper bags go, I have two. I have a turtle one and I have a Dr. Seuss one. I think this is a Thirsties. No, this is a Bumpkins Dr. Seuss bag and this has the tag worn off. So I don't know what brand this is, but I really love both of my bags. I'm not one of those hamper people that, you know, put the lining in the hamper and they put all of their cloth diapers in the hamper. I'm not one of those people because my stash isn't big enough for me to need a hamper. I just put all my diapers in these and when it's laundry day, they get dumped in the washer and I call it a day. Uh, I wish that I had a cloth stash big enough for a hamper. You don't even know, but I do love my bags, um, especially this one. It's so pretty. As far as washing my cloth diapers, I always first do a rinse and spin right here, and I do it on cold, tap cold, and I give it a good rinse and spin it out and all that, and then to wash them, I wash them on hot and power wash. And sometimes I'll do an extra rinse. It just depends on how dirty they are. I never use Oxy unless I really have to. And I don't use fabric softener. Don't use fabric softener. But that's how I wash my diapers. I first rinse them cold and then wash them hot. Um, to dry them, yes, I put my diapers in the dryer, but don't, no fear, don't fear. I put it on low and I put it on a center dry, more dry. And it's just a very low setting just to get the bulk of the wetness off. And then I have a line over here that I really don't want to show you guys because my units are behind it. But I have a line over here where I line my diapers up to dry or to finish drying, I should say. As far as washing my diapers, I wash my diapers every day. I know a lot of people don't. They do like every other day. But again, I don't have a big stash. My stash is really small. Um, so I just do the laundry every day. It's just easier for us. A good tip that I have for cloth diapering on the go that I've learned is uh, put a couple of dryer sheets at the very bottom of your cloth diaper bag, like at the very bottom of, of here. Put a couple of dryer sheets at the bottom if you're worried about people smelling it. Because I know I was. When I first started doing this, I was really self-conscious about people being able to smell the odor coming out of the bag. So what I did is I just put a couple of dryer sheets at the bottom and hopefully and just prayed that <laughs> that would be enough to like, you know, keep it in control. It really worked for me. Like I didn't really notice it. So I really recommend doing that. A couple of dryer sheets, bottom of your bag. It really helps. I am looking to buy more diapers whenever we have this baby and maybe branch out a little bit and get different brands and different stuff like that. I will probably do another video of one of these whenever I get a bigger stash that is more varied than what I have right now. Uh, the few diapers that I showed you, that's pretty much what my stash is. So again, I don't have like the biggest stash in the world, but once I start buying more, I will show you guys what I buy. I'll even do like haul videos and show you my diaper cloth diaper video haul. I might do one of those. Um, I'm really excited for it, so bear with me, guys. I will buy more. <laughs>
if you're a cloth diapering mama and you do this too, uh, drop me a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite brands are. Tell me what kind of diapers you like and why. I love reading your comments. I love hearing what you all have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.